Right, welcome to module one of uh, your Visual Studio class. Uh, today we're going to cover how to create a new form application, um, create a hello world. I'm essentially going to do the entire module one for you uh, as long as you follow along and submit your own uh, solution file. You'll just get full credit. So first thing you want to do is go to file, new project, <coughs> Windows Forms application, um, save it wherever you want to save it. I'm going to name mine Hello World, and then hit OK. It'll build us a default project here. So here's my form. Uh, one thing you're going to want to open up is this toolbox tab down over to the left. Then you can pin it and oh, I've apparently broken it. It's uh, it's now unresponsive. Hmm. That was quick. That was the the longest running Microsoft program I've I've ever had to date. It is it is totally locked up. killed that process of Visual Studio and I'm gonna have to just force quit that one at some point. There we go. Okay. So maybe now if I open up the toolbox. There we go. I can pin it. There we go. We're we're in business now. Okay. So this is our form. You can click on the form over here to the right. You're going to have all these form properties. These are things that you can change about the form. Let me make sure that my camera is not in the way. I'll just go ahead and move myself over here. Move this little visual basic icon so you guys know you're watching the VB. All right. So with our form selected, the properties tab over here populates with all the properties for this default form. I don't want to have the form say form 1, so I'm going to go to text here. I'm going to change this text to say hello visual basic and then hit enter and now my form says hello visual basic. I'm also going to resize my form because I don't like the square box. I'm going to go with a rectangle shape. It's much better. And notice the toolbox that uh, we expanded earlier has all sorts of neat little toys we can play with. Easily pre-bundled components that you can add to your visual application. We're only going to do one thing in this one, and that is we're going to add the Hello World text. Okay, So we want to take a label. This is pretty hard. You click and drag it right into here. And if you see when you're dragging it, you have these margin lines automatically appear and help you make sure your label is positioned correctly. I just put mine in the upper left. You can choose to put yours wherever you want. And then again, now that we have the label selected, form selected, label selected, form, label. So we're going to select the label, go over here to the properties portion for the label. We're going to change the text to say, hello world, we are with the Visual Basic Development Team with an exclamation point because it asserts authority. I'm also going to drop the little font tab down here and I don't really like sans serif too much. I'm more of a hieroglyphics kind of guy. And we don't have hieroglyphics installed. Okay, consolus it is. Boom. Now I have consolus. I'm going to change the font size to be 16. Oh, so now we have a problem. My uh, my text is longer than my box. That's a that's a solvable issue here in Visual Studio. And size my window to perfectly encapsulate my text. 
And that's pretty much it. That is, that is all I want you to do for module one. Create a basic form, change the text of the form, drop a text or a label uh, tool in here, change the text of the label tool, and you're done. So we're just going to hit start to run our application, and then it builds it. Here it is. This is this is my first Visual Basic program. Hello world. We are with the Visual Basic development team. And then, whoa, I can apparently resize it after it's launched too. Okay. Well, I don't like that. So I'm going to go in, click on my form. There should be a way to change the uh, size of this. So we got behavior, data, layout. I have a feeling it's probably in here. Here's the size. No. Ah, auto size mode. Grow only. I grow and shrink. Auto size. Set the false. I'll make it start in the center of the screen. Window state normal. Window style. There used to be a resizable option. Here it is. Form border style. It says sizable. I'm going to change that to fixed. Fixed single. Okay. Now, whenever I start the project, it should start in the middle, and I cannot resize the window anymore. That's, that's more of the behavior that I was looking for. I don't want to be users to be able to resize this thing. That's too convenient. Let's disable that feature. All right. So now that I have the project looking exactly how I want, this is the very critical part. This is how you submit your project to the Dropbox. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my Windows Explorer. Going to navigate to where I'm saving my project. There it is, the Hello World solution. Oh. They have changed the way they bundle their projects. This is going to be even easier than, than I was hoping. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I close out of my project here. So close the solution. That way I don't have any open file handles whenever I go to do this. So, go. this is your solution folder with the .sln file, and inside of a solution you can have multiple projects. So this Hello World just so happens to be named the same name as my solution. Uh, that is the project that is inside my solution. So there it is, Hello World VB Proj. That is the Visual Basic project. And what we want to do is delete the OBJ folder and delete the bin folder. I don't know why with this my project. Oh, I guess that's just your personal project settings. Probably could get away with deleting that too, but uh, I'll test that out at a later time. So what you want to do is go to where you have your solution folder. Just right click on that guy. Uh, I use 7-zip. Uh, you guys, if you don't use 7-zip, you should still be able to create an archive of it. I'm going to just add it to hello world.zip. And there we go. I have a 15k zip file. And this is the file that you're going to upload to the Dropbox. This is everything that I need to review and build your project on my own personal computer. And that is how easy it is. So what we'll do then is let me see here if I can go to the Dropbox and upload a file. It's Dropbox. Hello world. I don't know if I can actually submit anything. Uh, doesn't look like it. 
Uh, yeah, I, I can't actually submit anything. That's okay. Trust me. Upload the zip file, and that's how I will grade it. Thank you.